Hey guys, and welcome back to War Thunder. It's Krebsy here in the first ever tier 5 tank battle on the channel. And to mark this momentous occasion, I'm going to be taking out some British vehicles. Because I thought it would be win-win, because, you know, they're new. People want to see what the tier 5 British vehicles are like. So that means also more views on my video. Ha, <laughs> sellout mode engaged. Makes me a happy Krebs as well. So here we go. This is the tier 5 uh, Centurion Mark 10. There is also another tier 5 British vehicle, and that is the Conqueror. But I actually prefer this one over the Conqueror. And the reason why is because the Conqueror has extra armor on the turret. However, people have managed to work their way around it, simply by just aiming to the chassis itself, which almost has no armor, and to the belly, that's fine. Or even into the top of the turret, like into the cupola, you can manage to kill enemies that, or people within the crew that way. So essentially, that extra armor that you have on the front of the turret really doesn't matter at all. It really doesn't. Uh, and also other thing is that the Conqueror has a reload speed of about 15 seconds. Now, take this. So since you have almost no ar extra armor on the Conqueror, that is useful, that is. I'd rather take out the Centurion, which has no armor anyway. But, at least, the firepower or damage potential is greater. And that's because it has almost the same amount of penetration. The APDS rounds do about 300 millimeters as opposed to Conqueror's 360. Which is more than enough to penetrate enemy vehicles at tier 5. But also, it fires twice as fast as than the Conqueror. Which is why I like taking it out. And it's also a medium tank, so you get artillery, it's just in general faster. And that's just why I prefer taking it out with the Conqueror. But anyway, this vehicle is nice, to say the least. Because 7 seconds on the reload is actually quite fast. Uh, means that you can spam out those shells. Now, okay, we're not going to head along this direction exactly because we've seen... Well, look at that. He's dead. He dead, alright? He dead. And there was another guy that was up in front, and he dead as well. Uh, so where the people die means it's probably not a good idea to go there. And uh, if I, yeah, if I definitely, oh my god, somebody's going there. What a brave soul. Let's see how long he's going to live. Oh, crap. Where'd this rock come from? Let's see how long he's going to live. Oh, he fired a shot. He's backing off. He's backing off. Oh, tank shot just whizzing over his head. Man, close. What a brave soul. What a brave soul indeed. But he backed, oh my Jesus, people are dying. This guy on the side died as well. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go properly on the side here and try to protect this flank because I know exactly what's going to happen. If I go along this uh, up here, I'm going to get flanked by somebody off the side eventually. So we're going to try to protect this area. So yeah, this is my this is my plan on how to try to get the most amount of kills to try to defend. Because that's what usually happens on this mode battle is that people, the enemy teams like to attack the... Uh, enemy positions more than defend, but for some reason our team is preferring to defend more than attack, which is fine. Means, uh, you know what they say, the best offense is a good defense. I'm sure somebody said that in history. Alright, now we've got to get a little bit careful here, just using that third person to look around at the moment. I'm sure we're going to catch out somebody sooner or later. And I hope it's going to be a nice tank and not anything too big, you know? Nothing like a T95. Well, a T95 definitely wouldn't be here yet. <laughs> that thing is so slow. If T95 comes around, that might be actually kind of problematic to take him on. Because the T95 has so much armor. I think I'm just a few millimeters short of being able to penetrate a T95. Okay, my question is, how did this guy die that was over here? I don't see anyone at all. Oh. No, I don't see anyone. Hmm... Binoculars reveal nothing. Well, to be fair, I don't even need the binoculars. It's so flat and so open. That is no way I could be missing anyone here. All right, here we go. We're really, we're really making an approach on them. Oh yeah. Oh, here we go. Woo! I love that extra armor penetration. That 300 millimeters T44. Come on, that's not even gonna have any armor. That. Um, that amount of arm penetration just ripped through the top side of that, of the, uh, the hull, no problem. I like that. Okay, so we're gonna move on up over here. Just gonna take cover around this location. And now we're just gonna look around. 
See if there's anything to kill. Anybody? No, I don't think so. I'm not being blind or anything, but yeah, we're, we're definitely... We can keep on going. We can keep on making an approach. Alright, there's a... There's an AA gun right there. That does not mean anything. Oh. Did you see that? Something fired. And there's something definitely down there. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna make a move in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was beautiful. And a Yag Tiger? You spoil me. We're gonna kill the driver. And that's also the gunner down as well, so he ain't going anywhere. That's for sure. We gotta move in on this guy. Yeah. Get him going. Or dispatched before anything else. Now we're gonna just aim straight back into where we shot him. Oh my gosh. Oh dearie me. We gotta shoot into that right hand side right there. There we go. That flat part being the area to, to shoot at. And now we've got a T. Oh! No! We had a T-34 just down there, but there was actually another T-34 as well. No! It's okay. I've got more backup vehicles to take out. That sucks. I got way too... I got way too uh, engrossed in the situation. Before realizing that there was actually another uh, guy off the side, just at the front. I really should have looked around a little bit more before I uh, continued that engagement on that enemy T-34. But looks like our T-32 my squad managed to finish off that T-34 that killed me, I imagine. But anyway, it's gonna take a little bit of time to get there, I'm just gonna skip on over. Okay, it looks like an enemy has just been spotted up ahead here. And I was actually about to say, that's the thing that happens sometimes in these realistic battles, especially on these big maps. Where people can actually, uh, you'd think like, okay, I need, to, I need to spend a bit of time crossing the map to get to back, back to where I was. But there's actually a really high likelihood that you're going to meet somebody along the way there, an enemy. Okay. So where is this guy? Where was he? I think he must be over the hill somewhere here. Just looking at where that teammate of mine is kind of facing towards. I've got the assumption that he might be... In this vicinity. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I know he's here. But where? Could he be lurking behind this rock? Hello? Hello, anyone home? Where did he go? Last thing I want to do is just keep on working my way down here. And have somebody just shoot me in my rear end. That'd be absolutely terrible. Okay, my eyes do not spot anything at the moment. Where did that guy go? Or was it... It couldn't have been a false alarm or somebody... Unless he killed him. I don't... No, I don't think so. Maybe he worked his way around. He went around a different rock and now he's actually going towards B at the moment. I mean, that's a definite possibility. We're sitting at second place right now. That teammate of mine, the squad mate, managed to dispatch those T-34s. Oh, there! There is something right there. Do you see that? Do you see that? He had his, uh... Right over there. He's behind the rock. Which rock was that? There he is. Okay, that's his engine. That might be an... Is that an AI? Surely not. That's the gunner dead. I hope it's not an AI, because this wouldn't be a sort of a... Such a fulfilling kill then. Okay, that's gone. Let's aim just back into it, that right-hand side of his turret. And I'll finish him off. Oh, it's good! It, that's real. That's real. See, I knew something was there. I've seen his turret poking out. That's the thing about RB. You really have to, you have to have really good sight. Like, 2020 vision kind of thing, you know? I could not imagine playing this game with glaucoma. Or anything wrong with my eyes. Not realistic battles. It'd be so hard to even spot anything. Look at my squad mate. Holy shit! We've got the same amount of kills! But he's like 900 points ahead. I think you guys were saying, I asked you guys, like, how does somebody get so far ahead in points? 
It's also about how many shots you do on the enemy, about how many shots you take as well. So he's taking T32. Well, that can definitely take more shots than I can. I mean, you guys seen that. My survivability really does not exist. I don't have a lot of armor in this vehicle at all. And I've only got four crew members within. Okay. Okay. So I can die very quickly. Alright. How many enemies still alive? Still quite a few of them. Gotta be really careful around here. Because we're reaching the lion's den now. Oh. That's an SPAA. I mean, my teammate should be fine with that, I think. Unless he's severely damaged. Or Wait. I thought I spotted something. It's actually just that burnt out vehicle. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna try helping out my teammate, my squad mate, to clear out the path towards victory. Of course, gotta be careful of my side at all times. Alright. Oh! Hold on. We gotta go back into cover. I'm not sure if he's seen me. Hold on, if we can kill... If we can kill the driver, then he ain't moving anymore. Yeah, now we can finish him off. Just shot into the side of the turret. There we go. That's the thing, if you aim for the turret first, then he's gonna move away. And then that's kinda counterproductive of what you actually want. Now, I'm, I'm really like, you know, dead in the enemy's heart right now. In the lion's den. I'm just worried that what's gonna happen... Oh! Fuck! Okay, hold on. Okay, we're good. Wait, I hope so anyway. We're just gonna... Here we go. No. <laughs> Reload. I can't see shit right now. Okay, critical hit. He's on fire. Oh, please, just die. Okay, that was what I was worried about. They're gonna spawn in. With invincibility, you know? For God's sake, what is this? SPA spotted on the map. That's just the guy up ahead. Here we are. There's another enemy. That's the engine gone. He ain't moving. And he's dead. <sighs> Man, we really picked up the kills here. How is my teammate almost twice as much points? It's ridiculous. I think he's just... It's this SPAA. It's the enemy SPA. I swear it is. They must have been laying shots into him, and he was just, like, tanking them like a boss, you know? Okay, we're gonna try to clear up the path. I don't know if this is absolutely clear for him, but, you know, we need we need numbers right now. We need teammates working together. So, if there is anyone else, I'm gonna try to clear up the path for him. At least uh, I'll give him the A-OK, -okay, you know? So that he can move on up. I don't see anyone else here. Okay, why do I see smoke? Is he being shot at? He might be afraid of something right now. What is he afraid of? What you are what are you afraid of? <laughs> there might be something over here. That. That. <laughs> okay, that's the gunner down. And he got the kill assist. <laughs> I just love how he was bouncing around, you know? That was pretty funny. Okay, well, he got the kill assist then. Or I got the kill assist, even. Whoa, 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 whoa. No! Bastard! Fredo! No! You son of a gun! I'm gonna die. Oh! Oh, this spawning in rubbish. How they're invincible. Look. I aimed perfectly at him. If he wasn't invincible, he would have he would have lost his gunner. I aimed on the right hand side of where his gunner would have been. And that would have killed a bunch of the guys within there. Oh man. Okay, you know what? What's another vehicle that I can take out? Let's take out the Centurion Mark III. This is not a video on the Centurion Mark III, guys. But... We need to finish this round, don't we? 
Shit! Oh! Here we go, here we go. Oh my god, I was not paying attention at all to what was going on. And lo and behold, the, the Yag Panther was right in front of me. I was literally just looking at the uh, freaking leaderboard. Not paying attention to what was going on. Come on, hurry up and reload, because I don't have the time right now. We're just going to aim right back into there. That should kill him. Oh my god. Damn, Krebs. Don't get distracted like that. That was stupid of me. That was really, really stupid. That could have been terrible. I could have died. I mean, this is a Centurion Mark III. Same amount of crew members. Oh my gosh. Oh, in the end, nine kills. This, this, this guy can't spawn in anymore, surely. I mean, he's died three times for God. For God's sake! <laughs> How many lives does this guy get? Is he like a cat or something? Oh man, he just spawned- he spawned in a verbal vent and killed the M19. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Oh! <laughs> in the end! Oh, that T- uh, that T32 guy and whatever. He uh, managed to get the final kill with that with his F8F. -F. I really gotta bring out planes as well. I haven't been doing that. Uh, I don't know, there's no particular reason why I haven't been doing it, but I guess I gotta kinda do it. In the end! Managing nine kills. I definitely shouldn't have uh, died so much though. I, I really think that this match could have been easily better with a bit more attention of what was going on and then especially that second death if I maneuver myself better to try and prevent anyone spawning in behind me like that Yag Panther did then it probably would have been even better than this that's for sure. Probably even more kills than nine. But let's check out the rewards so you guys can get an idea of what it's like to get uh, eight kills with the Centurion Mark 10 and then one extra with the Mark 3. That! Man, I gotta tell you guys something right now. I think RB, and especially at higher tiers, I think the rewards are less than Arcade because I can get a, a match like in a T34 and Arcade battles, like, you know, a lower tier, tier 3, even tier 4, whatever, and I can get like 100,000 Lions really easily. I don't know. I don't know if it's RB or these higher tier matches. It's just a lot harder to get as much lions or rewards out of it. But anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there. That's a Centurion Mark 10, a really nice vehicle. No armor whatsoever. Uh, dies very quick. But the gun, the damage potential is amazing on it. Rapid fire, 7 seconds on the reload, 300 millimeters of penetration on the APDS rounds. You just do huge, amount, huge amounts of penetration and damage. So... Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. What would you like me to go out with in the next video? Feel free to leave that in the comment box below. But until next one, this is Krebs, and I'll catch you guys later. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Now we blasting off into the ozone. The way we kick it in the dojo is local for sure. Though we pay for the rope that's opposed to 